Michael Schellenberger joins me now. So how fraudulent was this boycott attempt by Media Matters? Hey, Jesse, good to be with you. I mean, it sounds shocking. It sounds like if you're on X, formerly known as Twitter, that you are being served up neo-Nazi content and that um, it's all being tied together with these big brands. Well, as you pointed out, this is they created fake accounts to follow neo-Nazis, and then they say that they got those ads served. Well, we did the same thing, as any journalist should have done as soon as they heard about this. We created fake accounts. We followed the exact same pro-Nazi accounts that Media Matters names, and we couldn't get any ads. We refreshed <laughs> constantly. We went into the actual content itself. We then went and followed th three times more pro-Nazi accounts. Same thing. We couldn't get any ads served up to us. So first of all, we were not able to replicate Media Matters. We asked Media Matters to respond to explain how they gamed the system to be shown the ads after having already followed uh, pro-Nazi content. We didn't hear back from them. I think that tells you that what's going on here, uh, there's more, to, the, more than meets the eye, I would say. So we know how wealthy Musk is. And we know what kind of lawyers he can pay. If you have a dozen of the most highly paid legal professionals descend upon Media Matters, would that bankrupt that outfit? Well, you know, I'm a huge First Amendment advocate. Obviously, I want free speech. People even have the right to lie. But you can't commit fraud. That's one of the restrictions on free speech. You can't do what Media Matters appears to be doing here which is to manipulate in a situation to lie about what's actually going on with the business in order specifically to hurt that business. They created the story they wanted to sell here, which is that somehow there's a lot of anti-Semitism on X, that somehow the brands are being associated with that anti-Semitism. They had that in mind before they did their research. So this, was, this is clearly a case where they're using fraudulent methods to lie, to manipulate the platform, to lie to, to businesses on business questions, that starts to look like fraud. That's a very serious charge. <laughs> Mike, it could be very expensive Mike, and dangerous. It's what for they're trying matters. to put Trump out for, for saying his company was worth more and, and you know, creating these fraudulent estimations. They want to strip his business license for that, even though there's no proof. And then we have proof that Media Matters did the exact same thing. If they were honest, they'd just say, Your Honor, I'm guilty. Yeah, and we, yeah. That's right. We point out we point out in today's article that Media Matters has always been a front group for the Democratic Party. It's always been a front group for the Democratic Party donors. So you go and basically have this alliance between the advertisers and a political party to censor and control what's on media platforms. That's very scary. That's very dangerous. People should be very concerned about what's happening. They should speak up and defend free speech on X, on, on all other social media platforms, because it's currently under attack by Media Matters. All right, go check out Mike at Substack. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.